Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk. Today I just wanted to tell you about this little package that I created called Pronto. So um, it was for myself to start with. It wasn't even meant to be a package. I was just getting a bit frustrated when editing, um, when creating blog posts on CodeShare.co.uk and things like that. Where I would go into, I'd have to open out the home tree, click on blog, then click on create blog post or right click on it from there and create. And there was just too many clicks for me. I wanted to just get going faster. Um, so I just decided that I should create myself a custom dashboard because I saw a talk by Fidoja from, uh, I can't remember which gold partner she's from, uh, but from a really good gold partner and she did a talk at the Umbraco UK festival about um, 10 ways to make your editors love you. I think she's doing it at Code Garden next week as well. But that inspired me, oh yeah I should do custom dashboards. So that was back in November. I followed the tutorial that Mark Goodson, my colleague at um, Moriyama, um, did, and that's in the official documentation. So I followed this a while ago of how to create one, and I just did that in a sample project. But now it was time to actually put what I'd learned on this and the tips that I'd learned from Fidosia into something that I could use that would benefit me. So I created this um, custom dashboard and I put it on a uh, code share. So when I log into CodeShare now, I can create a new blog post, create a new product, and if I want, I can um, add new links as well. So let's do create a new video post. And the description of that, um, so I could say click here if you want to create a new video post. And then that I would put in the link for that. So let me just open this in a new tab. And I'll go into, let's say, I'll follow the steps. So click on that, click on videos, click on create video post. So I'm going to eliminate all of those clicks by just copying this link and pasting that into there. Save and publish. So now if I go back to content, I can just click on create new video post. And I'm in. So then later down the line when I log into Umbraco again I can just go straight to that. So that's what I decided to do and it, when I shared it on Twitter that I was getting frustrated and I was going to do this, people said oh you should create it as a, pra a package, did a vote on the name and I ended up not listening to the vote, well I did, It's the majority said other than the ones I'd suggested and I came up with this name called Pronto, so um, it's because it's trying to make things happen quicker when you log into the back office so it's a, I think it's Spanish name for fast or something like that anyway uh, it works for me so now we can do that and what I also added as a little extra from the tutorial that Mark did on the documentation shows you how you can like get the recent history of the user so I adapted it slightly so it gives me anything that I've saved or published um, or the logged in user has saved or published and it just renders them in these blocks so these blocks you might see they're familiar because I use the styling from the Umbraco official uh, welcome dashboard and applied it to this. So I can edit all of this on here and then this bit here is what shows up if I've been editing on the site. So that's it. Um, it's a package called Pronto. You can get it on our Umbraco. I'm going to try and do it on uh, NuGet. I'm hoping that someone might be able to help me at Code Garden, get it to work with new get installing the data types and things and um, document types and the content items all from a new get install. That'll be another hurdle that I get over. Um, so I just like to do these challenges for myself and then I'll pass it on to other people when I've learned how to do it myself. Um, and if you want to, you could have a look how I've built it. If you go on uh, github.com slash prjseal slash pronto. You can see how I built it and um, you can fork it, tweak it, clone it and create your own version of it if you want, if you don't like the one. But if you do want to install it, you can. You can just go into the uh, developer section, package repository and it's here, Pronto. You just install it that way. So it works on sites that are 7.13.2 onwards uh, for Umbraco. And the reason I did that is because of the recent history part. So this bit wasn't working on the earlier versions. 
so that's it then so I just wanted to show you the package um, I hope you like the package and maybe you'll install it and try it out even just on the default starter kit and yeah maybe you can create some custom dashboards yourself or use this one to help your uh, editors on the sites that you build so thanks for watching if you like the video please click on like subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share with others thanks a lot bye